Uh, good morning, folks. I'm just about to leave the Peterborough show. We had a great weekend. It was nice catching up with friends and also speaking to loads of people as well. One of which is Craig, who um, actually we found out over some time of speaking to him, uh, built the kitchen in our old house. So, um, yeah, um, and he brought up some hinges for these top cupboards um, to stop that problem where the actual gas strut seems to make the door kind of like kinked a little bit. So yeah, one of my tasks over the next few days is gonna try those hinges out and um, see if it corrects that problem. So yeah, that's cool. But more importantly, right now, we're gonna get ready. We've got our trip to Reading. Yep, Mandy has decided that she's gonna go, not quite badass, but almost, but with a twist. So um, yeah, we're off to uh, Elite wheels and tires in Reading and I'm probably not going to show you in this video uh, what she's got but um, I'll let Mandy do a reveal in her video but yeah I think it's going to look brilliant with the colour of Mandy's van and everything else I think they're going to look absolutely brilliant so you have to check out them on Mandy's channel might give you a little bit of a sneak when we get there uh, but yeah that's going to be cool so uh, yeah I'm going to uh, pack the van and go Sometimes when I stop, things have moved. The other day, that had gone up and down there about five times. And sometimes the toilet roll does it as well. Oh no, happy days, not today. But yeah, the joys of van life. That has actually jumped out from all the way up there, where it's actually stuffed in. So, I mean, obviously, there's a badass wheel here. Yes. <laughs> but... You don't want that one, do you? I do not want that one. Which one do you want? Um, I am going for this wheel itself. Oh. And I am having this tyre. Now, one of the things that Mandy had an issue with these um, is they're aggressive, and they really are. I mean, those have done us some amazing trips, um, but they are an aggressive tyre, and you do get a little bit of road noise. So BFG have brought out these, which are still an all-terrain, you know, mud and snow and everything else, but if you look at the tread pattern, they're a little more sort of like road tire friendly. They're still, like I say, you know, all terrain tires. You know, the BFG is my choice. And that's my wheel. Um, so that's what I've got. But you don't have to actually, you know, choose that. You can get different tires with the same rim. So you could get that tire on that rim. Or you can get the Yokohama or the Falcon, which are those there, um, on that rim as well. So loads of choices. Um, but the guys here at Elite will sort you out. Whichever trim... Whichever wheel you want, whichever design. So I think the Falcon there, I think that's what Em and Lou have got on that wheel. Um, so that's pretty good. So if you do like to get off the beaten track a little bit, whether it's mud and snow or just down dirt roads and things like that, um, yeah, get in touch with Elite Wheels and Tires and they'll make sure that the right wheel and tyre packages are um, supplied to your vehicle depending on its weight, etc. Um, and also mention the code EPIC5 to get a whopping 5% off as well. Right, so while we're at Elite Wheels, they gave us uh, some nice t-shirts. Oh, look at these. Sparkly as well. Keeping it wheel. Keeping it wheel. <laughs> Love it. So yes, very nice. But to find out what wheel, as Mandy's got, you're going to have to watch a video. You are. Because <laughs> I can't reveal it. And, and I can't tell you what they are. I mean, I could reveal it. Yeah. So yes, and, lovely enough, and I got some locking wheel nuts and even a little puller to put the little black caps off. Yeah, cool. So they're very good, aren't they? They look after you so well there. Yeah. So just about to set off to France now, um, basically waiting for... Uh, <laughs> Uh, funny story. Um, yeah, I um, I was in front of Mandy in my van and then something flicked up from my wheels and now she's got a big hole in the windscreen. So um, I don't know which company. I think it's auto windscreens or whatever are coming out here to where we parked up tomorrow um, and they're going to fit a new windscreen. So in the meantime, I thought I'd go over uh, just a quick chat about what I'm doing to prepare for the trip. Um, so the first thing I do is check my European breakdown cover is active uh, and I bought a year's policy last June from the RAC and I just want to go through that again just check it out 
Um, see if I can renew early as well, so I don't have to renew mid-trip. Um, and it's also through the RAC as well that I've got um, medical insurance as well, or, um, you know, trip cover, as they call it. Not trip as in, like, you know, you trip over yourself, but a holiday trip. Um, and that also covers gadgets and things like that as well. So I need to go and check that. Again, with the RAC, you just log into your RAC account and check it all and set it all up. Um, I think as far as the breakdown cover, I think that was about 300, 350. Um, and that covers two vehicles as well. I think it's the personal cover um, uh, so that no matter which vehicle you drive, it's covered. So it will cover myself and Mandy as well. I sort of point in that way because that's where Mandy's parked right now. Um, and then the trip cover is the same sort of thing. It covers two people traveling in two vehicles and anything that's, um, you know, sort of stolen or damaged or anything like that that you've included in there is covered and also if you're delayed so for example um you know if your crossing is delayed or if you need a hotel because something's happened um or if you booked a hotel or someone's lost your package your baggage baggage packaging yeah if someone's lost your bags or something like that that's all covered too as far as other things are concerned i've mentioned about sat nav software in a previous video um so i download all the maps to my sat nav um, software on my phone or my sat nav whichever it is so that no matter which country i'm in i've got the map data i need should i find myself with no internet um, and stuck somewhere and i can't get any you know directions to where i should go next um, then yeah i've got that sorted out um, and speaking of internet um, i'm using um, you know a wi-fi setup i am going to make a specific video an updated video about this about how it is set up here um, who I use, and um, you know, the antenna on the roof and the router I use and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, the only thing I'd say is just make sure your phone provider um, is going to provide you with EU cover while you're away. And I know for a fact there are some networks out there that will only give you two months cover. Um, so any network that is um, affiliated with three, including three, like... Um, smarty as well um they will cut you off after two months out of the uk because in their legal terms they consider that you are not a permanent resident of the uk if you have not been in the uk for consecutively for two months the rest of it is slightly easier than the uk you will find um you are more welcome in villages towns and cities that there are spaces for you to park sometimes with all the services like where we are now for free um, even electricity for free sometimes as well um, but yeah predominantly i would say in france um, any town that's got a mayor's office almost guarantee you can park outside the mayor's office um, they want you to spend your money in the villages and towns and things like that you know to go to the boulangerie or um, you know the local supermarket um, or walk around and nip into a cafe and have a um, a croissant and a coffee or something like that so they actually really do value your um, patronage without using another term but yeah they value your money and they value the fact that you're there to visit their little town as far as videos on different channels uh, there's an update video on john and mandy channel uh, this coming sunday which is going to explain more about our travels and us personally traveling together and it'll explain to you guys as well about videos and that kind of thing so um, it's worthwhile watching that video um, just to get an idea of what's going on. Oh, just to point out as well, I obviously check around for mechanical issues with the vehicle. I'll check oil uh, levels, uh, coolant levels for the engine, um, and then just do a general walk around the vehicle, make sure tyre pressures and everything like that are okay. Uh, so it's not just about paperwork. There are other things involved as well. But one aspect of paperwork I did um, neglect to mention just a moment ago was the crit air um certificate or registration scheme if you like um for the low emission zones or for the vehicle um engine type like is it euro 5 or euro 6 um, and that's in france so um yeah i'll put those links in the video description down below uh, but we're uh, pretty much set to go now so uh yeah i shall uh, catch you soon folks bye